Yes, good morning, everybody uh, from uh, Amsterdam, the Netherlands, and from Sweden. I have a very special guest, and we've been know each other for 10 years now. Uh, I'm very happy uh, Malin is here. Um, Malin is the founder and owner of uh, MH Leadership, and she has more than 20 years uh, experience in creating and delivering leadership programs for companies of all sizes. And she empowers ambitious leaders and entrepreneurs to flourish by inspiring them to find their unique flow through prioritizing their well-being. And her expertise takes a holistic approach, driving success in others through a combination of individual coaching and team coaching while promoting a healthy, active uh, lifestyle. And she has also multiple years of international experience, uh, also as a certified uh, personal fitness uh, trainer. Uh, she's also a marathon runner. Um, yeah, I, I, I remember, you know, uh, years ago when you had your first marathon and you were uh, preparing. I remember, I remember. And um, we met uh, many years ago during our um, NLP years. So, uh, and then our friendship and, you know, professional respect has, uh, have uh, deepened uh, during the years. Mm -hmm. And uh, Malin helps leaders be empowered, healthy, and fulfilled, which is very much in line to what I'm doing. So even more to have her uh, with us and to share her wisdom. And again, before we start, we start with our uh, centering uh, um, sacred practice um, to bring our attention into this uh, place and create a new experience together. So, so let's... Close our eyes and uh, connect to our breath and say good morning or good day to our breath. Another day and we are still here. As maybe we equalize the in breath to the uh, out breath. Inviting the breath deeper into our body. And to use one of my favorite mantras, on the in-breath, I have arrived. On the out-breath, I'm home. And you can tell this into your head. In-breath, I have arrived. Out breath, I'm home. Do it three times. Slowly open your eyes. because this is our home for the next uh, 30 minutes of, or so. Uh, hi, Malin. So good to hi. have you here. Thank and, you. And it's, it's so interesting because you are so international and you are also in an interesting situation right now. Uh, I am. Speaking about home. Yes. Where uh, you are in Sweden now. I'm in Sweden. Actually, in a place where my, when my whole... Um, family is from but I haven't really lived in this city so I don't feel at home even though I am home 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 uh, and where is home when you've been living abroad for such a long time you know um, after a while you know home how many is years I, how many so, years were you traveling it's, well working and traveling uh, yeah so it's nine uh, almost ten years now that we have been away so of course, I, I feel very Swedish and I'm very Swedish in, in every sense, but also you, you broaden your perspective, of course, uh, of the world when you live abroad and get to meet so many people. And it's, uh, it's a different and dynamic uh, lifestyle, which I love. And here I come home, it's much smaller and uh, I'm not um, used to live here. So it's different, but, um, but I'm safe here and um, 
our kids are here as well. So that's, uh, that's another part of it, which is very nice. And my husband is in, in Houston, Texas. So we and are, uh, this just support. happened because you you were living in Houston, right? Yeah, just before yeah. this thing, and then it just happened. Is a yeah, um, yeah. Because we have an underminer, so I thought you know when this Corona started, with my best friend called me and she said, you know, Marlin, I think you need to get home <laughs> because it might happen that you get stuck in the U.S. and then your son won't you know have you for such a long time. So I was so happy that she called me. And so I'm actually, I, I went back to my son here in Sweden. Yeah. So he has his mama yeah. <laughs> available. So that's good. Yeah. So uh, Malin, you work a lot with corporates like me and mm -hmm. um, now you're stuck at home as well. So uh, let's talk a, bit, a little bit about remote working, working remotely mm -hmm. and performing very well and how to do it. Hmm. How to do it when you um, your teams are work? You know, all the team um, uh, your your teams are spread all over the place, and they hmm. work at home as well. So you don't hmm. have contact. How do we do it? What's your number one thing? So I think the number one thing is actually to keep your rituals. I love rituals. You know, rituals are mindful. So a routine is more mindless, but a ritual is mindful, meaning yeah. that you do things um consciously and it has a purpose as well and also mm -hmm. having the structure of the day i think that maybe that is the number one actually is to have a structure in your day yeah uh, to get up get dressed i mean you don't have to be fancy dressed it's not what i'm saying but you know uh, organize yourself and keep the schedule as normal as you can because that keeps you going and it keeps yeah. you yeah alert i would say as well yeah yeah, and, and you can still be, be comfortable yeah. in how you dress, yeah. you know, but have a sense that you uh, bring some uh, uh, attention to the way you, uh, like, like like when you go to the office, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And, and I think many of my clients that I've talked to now, they say, actually, I feel like I bond better with my team and I, that we um, get together, not get together, but we are closer together because we see each other in different you know, uh, personas, maybe different clothes and, and, and different setups, which makes us more vulnerable, of course, but also more relaxed in a different way, which makes the communication easier. Yes. Um, so, and I think this is a great uh, time to step up as a leader. And I have one of my clients, he has actually come so much closer, connected to his team thanks to this because now he's finally using his as he described it i can show my heart and mm. i think that's so beautiful interesting. yeah interesting. that's interesting so for him it has been a wonderful experience to elaborate with who he is and how he can connect with his team so he makes videos uh, every second day you know important information messages but also funny videos like having a little joke um you know showing Beautiful. himself differently creativity uh, and, yeah and self-expression mm -hmm. how wonderful is this mm -hmm. yeah yeah so it's been uh, good and so i think that's the, the most challenging part for for most people for us you know that we don't meet people but you can meet in different ways as we know uh and i think it's also about how you communicate to yourself, right? We know this. Um, so if I keep saying I'm stuck, I'm stuck in home, uh, I'm stuck here. Yeah, of course, that's the feeling and you feel a bit trapped maybe. But what if you just change it to, you know, I'm safe at home. It's a whole different experience. I'm safe here. Yes, yeah, so reframe is, is very, very important. Mm -hmm. And also when 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 you tell to yourself i'm stuck and says just go to the emotion because the problem people have actually is feeling those uncomfortable f sensations in the body that's what we don't want to feel it's not that we don't want to feel certain emotion we don't like the uncomfortable uh, physical sensations in the body so when you work with that and mm -hmm. recognize that and then breathe through those sensations and mm. then reframe it mm. afterwards you can mm. change your experience right exactly yeah yeah and i think that's 
one important message that you and I and, and so many other people can can send and can tell because all of a sudden life is different, right? Life is different and we need to deal with a lot of different things. And all my clients that I talk to say, you know, I'm in meeting constantly, you know, yeah. webinar meetings. And it feels like they don't have time for themselves, but it's, you know, handling, managing this yeah. um, unexpected things that is happening. So what you're saying about emotion is also, how do I talk to myself? How do I, you know, what kind of emotions, feelings do I have and allow myself to have? You know, can I talk differently to myself? Can I say something different to have a different experience in the day and different feeling and attitude uh, that will yeah. impact uh, the, yeah. whole, the whole day? As yeah. we started today, right? Yeah, Something. and <clears throat> for many, maybe it is also time to start thinking, okay, am I in a fixed my, uh, mindset mm -hmm. or I'm in an, a growth mindset? Do I want to make something about this and grow and grow my teams? Mm -hmm. uh, like, I really like what you're saying about your uh, client that making videos, pro videos on certain topics for business, but also bringing the element of fun and bring, so that is also vulnerability, getting out of your comfort zone, growing and do things differently that you've done before, right? Um, yeah, so because, that's growth I mean, mindset. <clears throat> it is a growth mindset and, and he used to be very, he still is, you know, demanding on his people, but now in a different way. And, and he said to me that day, you know, I think I'm on the right track, right? And, aren't I? I said, yeah, you are. Because, you know, imagine combination these two. It's so powerful when you have this big open heart at the same time as you expect things from, from your people, right? Because yeah. then they will grow as well. So, yeah. I mean, we, we help people grow in a different way. When we grow, when we show yeah. we are vulnerable, we can, yeah. Yeah. we all also need to, to develop in this and yeah. evolve. Mm. So let's go to the team members. Mm -hmm. How how can people start uh, being her heard and seen more, even w when working remotely? Yeah, I think one thing is to <coughs> stay connected, keep connected with your team, do um, chats, um, phone calls, if that is even a thing anymore. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. but you know, stay connected to your peers, to your um, colleagues, because mm -hmm. that's. That's one of the things that I also hear that they are missing their colleagues. They feel alone. Yeah. And, and you don't have to be alone. I mean, it's, you know, one quick phone call is to hear someone else or to just um, um, log in, uh, like a, whatever platform you're using, right? To see one another. And, yeah. and also, that is important to see one another, to have, you know, the camera on, not, uh, not just the voices. No, the then you see the expressions and you can, you know, you smile and that is um, contagious. So for that reason, it's important. You're not alone in this. And please, please um, reach out to people, reach out to your peers, ask questions as if you were uh, at the office and also have um, coffee breaks together or lunch yeah. breaks together. Yeah. yeah. Uh, one of the things one of my my clients was saying, you know, every Friday they would have their Friday uh, borel, they call it in the Netherlands, yeah, they would yeah. go and have drinks just to wrap up the week. They still have it, but they do it uh, via Zoom and so. So that's that's uh, just maintain your uh, or adapt uh, the, adapt your uh, uh, rituals uh, yeah. and practices to what it is now. Just don't say that. Oh my God! Focus on what is not possible. Focus on what pot what's possible and create something. Like like your client, I really like that that one with the videos. Yeah, yeah, mm. I, I love it. It's it's yeah. so interesting to hear this, yeah. and I I keep spreading the world because I think he's extraordinary in this uh, using the opportunity to do something different. Yeah. Instead of being sad and, and feeling, you know, I can't reach him. Now he has a stronger connection with, with the entire team, actually. Yeah. Mm. Um, so is the time also to step up, you know, to be seen? So if you play it small, yeah. can you place, can you step up uh, in this, uh, let's say, uh, 
settings, you think? Okay. Of course you can, because everyone has a need. We want to be seen, we want to be yeah. heard, right? Mm -hmm. And we want to be acknowledged, we want to be recognized, we want to be praised, uh, and also be seen as who we are. And yeah. what if you hide behind your computer, behind your laptop, uh, and feeling even more sad every day, uh, you know, as goes? It's time to step up, it's time to be that creative because we have also more time on our hands I, I would say you can you know go for a walk and and you know that starts the process of being creative and use that i mean don't just think about things use it um log log in and and tell tell your peers tell your boss tell yeah. whomever you know i have this idea i thought about this it's time to show yourself who you really are because we all I mean, we have so much within us, as you know, we talk about always. And uh, why don't we express it more? Um, yeah. We don't. Ha we have nothing to lose. Nothing to lose. Uh, and maybe, instead of you know, comparing, in, instead of comparing to others and making yourself small or projecting your insecurities mm -hmm. on others, just mm -hmm. step up and use yeah. your talents, right? Yeah. And I talk about. I don't know if you heard about that. Um, and steps. Yes. So, so for me, yes, absolutely. I mean, I mean Tony Robbins, he's, he talks about take massive action, and I love that too. Small, you know, small steps, small absolutely. steps. Absolutely. You know, yes, it doesn't have to be much, but every time you take this little, little tiny ant step, you grow. You feel confident. You feel this like, is massive action because yeah. it gets you out of a, a, conf, a familiarity comfort mm -hmm. zone. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah, and you feel more empowered. Yes. And every time. And, and so that is the easiest way you can do. What is the little end step I can take today? Uh, and how do I want to feel by the end of the day? Mm -hmm. so. Wonderful. Um, okay. In order to let yourself to allow yourself to step up, mm -hmm. uh, you need to take care of yourself. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so then you're full in a way that you don't want to express yourself. So let's move into taking care of, of yourself, the best way to do it. Yeah, I mean, for me, it, that is also the body. So I'm talking a lot of, you know, how do you take care of your body and your mind, right? Mm -hmm. And, and um, doing some exercises every day really sets you up for, if you talk about success, because it keeps... You know, it's so many hormones and, and chemicals, positive chemicals releasing when you do exercising. So I have all my client, clients uh, actually do exercises. And it's, it's extraordinary, Catalina, what have happened to them when they start to do exercises on a regular basis. That's what I'm talking about. It's like people want to... You mean physical exercises and... Physical uh, exercises, right now. Okay. you know, working mm -hmm. with your body, get your yeah. heart um, uh, pumped, up. you know, up. Yeah, exactly, increase your heart rate. Uh, because when you struggle with something and you want something so bad and you're reaching for that goal or you have, you know, aiming for something, and all of a sudden, it's just, you know, you show up differently because you feel differently. Absolutely. Nothing has changed. You have changed. Yeah, and you do stronger. something yeah and you do something you have control over yeah right yeah you can yeah. control how much time you spend on working out mm -hmm. instead of you know talking about what other people do and and so or what business is not doing or yeah and i mean it's also everyone is different right so maybe yeah. There are people that I work with that are really doing a lot of workout, you know, oh, yeah. physical workout, hard workout. Maybe for them it's to do yoga, right? Or to yeah. do something very Whatever. calm. So it's not like everyone has to do the same, but do no. something with your body, connect, reconnect, you know, body, mind, soul. Uh, it's so important to be whole. Um, yeah. Yeah, to be able to perform. I know I'm going to just go in a different place, but I cannot stop. You know, it's it just your hair looks so good, Malina. <laughs> so one of the things for the ladies, right? Because, you know, <clears throat> I let my gray, but I let my gray hair since uh, one and a half years now. Uh, so it's going out. Uh, but I, I can't uh, see yeah. nothing. Of yeah, the but it looks hair. like highlights. But, you know, many women, you know, that they dye their hair, right? You yeah. see, you see here. So how do you do with this? Because your hair looks really cool. 
I don't know. So my hair is whatever a day, you know, it's, it's, I think it's also depending on how I feel. <laughs> It's so really good, but crazy. you have also colors. I don't see anything. So you color at home or what yeah. do you do? I, oh, okay. I color so. a little bit, uh, what is it? Uh, a little bit of highlights to uh, to keep because this is my re uh, natural hair, hair color down yeah. here, right? Yeah. So by the bottom, it's darker. So I do uh, some uh, highlights there. So you do some uh, creative uh, acts of, uh... it's really cool because you know what? no hairdresser so you know who my, my daughter is doing my hair every so we have our ritual every week and i give her five euro and yeah. uh, she said no mama no no yes because you do something for mm. me that is mm. valuable i want to give it back to you yeah yeah so now i'm at 25 euros uh, you know and then every monday i <laughs> she does my hair and it's oh, our little moment together oh, and she makes some money and you mm. know i have my hair done uh, while uh, you know enjoying my experience with her so it's really cool so creativity <laughs> like coming back yeah sorry yeah no 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 keep so keep going coming back coming back to your thing with Aunt, uh, aunt step, uh, steps, step. aunt mm -hmm. steps, uh, small steps is um, finding a creative outlet that gives you joy. Doesn't have to, um, uh, uh, you know, uh, doesn't have to be a huge thing like you become yeah. a Picasso. You can find small things that can um, become, uh, you know, outlets for your self-expression yeah. and bring you so much joy. And this is also self-care to the max, right? It is. And I, I like to think of it, or this is a good way to, to help people to do, take the ant steps, is to ask these three questions. You know, what can I do more of? What yeah. can I do less of? Less of, yeah. And what can I do differently yeah. as an ant step? That's super easy. Maybe I can do less of, uh, you know, self pity or um, self negative talk, or and more of smiling in in the mirror and saying I I'm great, you know. Um, yeah. It, it's it's so small. We don't have to go big to to change uh, the yeah. outcome. Because uh, that here's the thing: many people get um, very uh, disappointed, uh, disappointed, but also scared about having these huge um, goals because they compare to others. Oh, mm -hmm. others, they did better. So I should have these goals. Mm -hmm. And then they're much too big for who they are and mm -hmm. for who they want to be in life. Mm -hmm. And they, they just, go, they just make themselves smaller. And then it comes procrastination because you don't want to experience all this, uh, uh, unpleasant uh, <clears throat> sensations and what whatever it is. No, we compare ourselves way too much. And I remember my first manager when I started to work with personal development and leadership training uh, in Dale Carnegie, Stefan Quist. Uh, he, one of the first things that I remember he said was, you know, comparing yourself to other people is, you know, um, it's is what makes you unhappy that's yes. you know the recipe for unhappiness yeah comparing yourself to others you can look you know you can have role models that's the different things but yeah. comparing and feeling small and i can never do that that's something different but yeah of course you can aim for something if you admire someone but that's again from a different mindset right growth yeah. mindset or fixed mindset so this is the growth mindset. If you see, oh, if he can do it or she can do it, I can do it. That's not yeah. comparing. That's more yeah. an aspiration, Yeah, I would say. Mm. Yeah. And another pattern that I see, and it can come uh, become pathological or it can, you know, show up in, in uh, very small, in uh, but damaging, is that um, either at the pathological side, you, ha you are in so much pain. Mm. And you cannot deal with pain. You cannot stay and feel the feelings and go through the pain. So mm. you look externally to find an outlet in which you can project all this um, misery that is in you. All yeah. this. So you find a scapegoat, you know, a scapegoat, and uh, project all the. Um, uh, unmet needs, all yeah, the yeah. criticisms, all mm. the 
pain that it is in you project on others. Mm -hmm. And this uh, can be, at, at, as I said, at pathological level, but also in, in work. If yeah. you find yourself at all the time saying, oh, that is, that, that is not doing well, that is not, da, 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 da. start, bring, bring your attention to yourself yeah. and say, what mm -hmm. is about me? that mm -hmm. needs my attention or what mm -hmm. needs am I not meeting, right? Yeah, and what, yeah. yeah, coming back to yourself, uh, what can I do more of? Mm -hmm. yeah. What should I disconnect doing? What should mm -hmm. I do less? And what mm -hmm. should I stop doing, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And what should I do differently? Yeah, I think, you know, this, you do this as well, I guess. But, you know, writing is a good way of, you know, collecting. Yeah. yeah. It has a, a lot of uh, science behind it, journaling, it yeah, and journaling. monitoring yes. or monitoring. So choose one or, yeah. or that works for you has yeah. a lot of science that uh, backs it up. Yeah. Yeah. I, I had one client and he likes to have things on, you know, digital because I, I was really forced, not forcing him, but, you know, um, telling him maybe you should write, you know, journal is a good way to, you know, create greater awareness. And I said, yeah, yeah, but I like to have it, you know, digital. Isn't there an app for it? So we created that, him and me. And he said, you know, that was interesting. I didn't realize that what is most important for me is my family. But when I see how I use my time, of course, you use a lot of time at work. So I wasn't surprised about that because there's more hours. But the hours I should have free for my family, I wasn't yeah. focusing that much yeah. on them. But that's yeah. my highest priority. So it made me think, you know, how can I change this around? So I really meet my needs to prioritize my family. So, nice. so you know, seeing, you know, monitoring uh, what you're doing, it's an important step. And I think uh, I love meditation. You can call it whatever you want. Uh, sit in silence, breathe uh, again you open up that space for things to, to come to you, new, yeah. new stuff. Yeah. I know. And mm. so we connect and that, that that's how we get, uh, when, when I need to have uh, even more, when I need to have uh, solutions to um, mm. dilemmas, mm. Um, I just go and meditate i said the intention and things come because i feel so connected my brain it's it opens up the uh, to the possibility of being in the oneness and not separated where the problems begin that's, that's true and uh, and there's also a practice for that i mean if you're not used to it maybe those great ideas doesn't come don't come immediately it's you know keep going keep going do it awesome. uh, uh, yeah it's a ritual and as a result of doing this kind of things your impact will increase yeah yes and every time we open our mouth we want something right we want people to listen to us we ha we want to have an impact so do what's best for you think about you know what can you do how am i making an impact in the world in the day with the people i meet how can i do that and come, you know, come from your heart and, and just don't complicate it. Just keep it simple. Keep it simple. Yeah. And take uh, on steps. So mm -hmm. uh, would you like to, uh, we have our um, tradition again to end up with a centering moment. Um, would you like to uh, lead it for us right now? Okay. So, so again, close your eyes. And breathe into your heart and through your heart. So take a deep breath into your heart and out from your heart. And again, connect with yourself and breathe in through your heart. And out. And we do it one more time. Keep connected, breathing through your heart. And out. And 
you can open your eyes. Thank you for being here with us today. Thank you, Marlene. It's always an honor and a pleasure to connect with you. See you next time, huh? Yes. Great. Thank you, Thank you so much, Catalina. Thank you. See you. Have a Bye -bye. great day, everybody. Yes.